Hey everyone, this is Ben. In the previous videos, we covered creating simple and dynamic routes in Vue.js. In this video, let's see how to create nested routes. First, create a view app using Vite. Open a terminal and run npm create Vite at latest. All right, select view and I select JavaScript, but you can also create your view app using TypeScript if you want. Go to the project folder and run npm install. Open it in VS Code. Okay. Here is our app source code. Let's run it. Open a terminal and run npm run dev. All right, it's a simple view app. Now let's create some nested routes and navigation here. Okay. Here is the app.view, the main app file. But first, we need to go to main.js. And here, create a router and add it to our app. First, we need to install view router, open a terminal, and run npm install view router. Okay. Import it. Import. Create router from view router. And here, create roots. Const router of create router. Give it an object. And define roots array. Each root is an object that contains a path. For example, boots. And here we need a component for it. Let's create it. Boots dot view. All right. Okay. Save it. Back to the main.js. Import it. and use it here. And here we need history. Create web. We can choose between web hash history or web history. I choose web history. It's important here. All right. Now add the router to our app. Dot use and put this here. All right, our component and root are ready. Let's use them. Go to app.view and let me remove the default codes. All right. Here, create a router link to the boots. And a router view. All right, let's check it. All right, 
it works the foods component and here is the path now let's set up a nested root under it go back to the main.js and here under the foods path i want to create another root to do that here we need to define children and create an array here you can create roots just like what we did here path for example pizza and component let's create pizza component all right All right, save it, back to the main.js, import it, and use it here. Now we have foods and pizza root under it. Now let's render pizza and foods. Go to the foods component. And here, create a router link to foods slash pizza. And a router view. All right, let's check it. All right, now we are in foods. And here we have pizza. Foods slash pizza and we can navigate between the roots we can also create another roots under the pizza go back to main.js and here under the pizza root define children create an array and define roots for example italian and american and let's create components italian and American all right save it back to the main.js import them and use them here all right here we have foods pizza and italian and american now let's go to the pizza component and create a router link to italian pizza and another to American all 
All right. And the router view. All right, let's check it. Okay, Italian and American. Let's start from the beginning. Foods, pizza, and Italian and American. We can do this infinitely. All right, let's add some borders to these router views for a better style. Go to style.css. And here I create a class, orange border, border, and padding. And then use it. Here. And here. And here. All right. Save all. Okay. This is the first router view, foods. And this is the pizza router view. And this is for pizza types. All right. Okay, now let me show you a small issue about nested roots. Here, we are in the foods components. Therefore, when we are creating a router link, we may not want to repeat foods here. Okay. But here we have a problem. We don't have foods at the beginning of the root. And that's because we need a slash here at the end of the path. And now it works. So here just add a slash at the end of the path. And here. And also here, we don't need foods slash pizza. All right. Start from the beginning. All right. Okay. You can see and play with this project on my stack blitz. All right. And the link to the stack blitz is in the caption. In the next video, we'll explore adding guards to the roots in Vue.js. You can watch it right here by clicking on it.